talk about the great quarterbacks that played well before both of us. Did you think about that stuff? Like, oh man, I have the potential to be the next great quarterback here? Um, you know, honestly, no. I just knew we were gonna have to worry about the team, the next team we were playing, and there's a lot of hype now around mm -hmm. it. But, you know, going back to last year, you know, once I was named the starter, I just was focused on doing my job. And, you know, it's a cliche, but, you know, one game at a time is really all you can do. Right. Last year, no one really knew who you were. And now you're a Heisman front runner. People are talking about you being the number one pick of the draft next <laughs> yeah, year. That's crazy. Is it just wild to you, like a difference a year makes? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Uh, but I think that the uh, important thing with that is having the close group of friends and family to, you know, keep you grounded. And right. I wanted to ask you, how, how did you guys handle the hype? It was, it was crazy, you know, it, it was sort of the same situation you're going through. Kind of like you said, I came from a humble background, my family, so I had great people around me. Um, but we also had a team that really embraced the challenges and we all held each other accountable. Right. Have you embraced it? Have you embraced sort of the, the yeah. newfound expectation, especially placed on your shoulders? Yeah, I mean, I think if you, if you don't embrace it, you know, you kind of, you just kind of sink down. And I think our whole team is actually doing a really good job of embracing it. And it's been fun, yeah. you know, <laughs> the guys are super funny, super cool. <laughs> and, you know, it's easy to be able to lead when you have a group that wants to win. Sam Darnold is not a perfectionist inside the pocket or outside. He's a preparationist. Sam Darnold is not afraid to throw the football. He can just make plays. I always like the quarterbacks who just have that it factor. You're never too high, you're never too down. Was that something that you were just born with? I don't know really how it developed. <laughs> I think it was just kind of natural uh, for me to be like that. This off season and going into this season, what was the biggest area you wanted yeah. to work on? Because we can always get better. Yeah. And you can't say throwing a ball off a moving boat <laughs> to a guy on the wakeboard. Yeah, okay, that, that doesn't count. Sweet, that was, <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Um, one of the big things for me is the film room. Right. Uh, you can always learn stuff in the film room. Uh, talk to guys like yourself and uh, Carson, Matt, Cody. So I think learning that uh, from guys who have experienced, you know, the highest level of football, um, you know, that's kind of, that's priceless for me. Sam Darnold has turned nothing into something again. How do you do? Is a trip to New York something that you're aspiring to go to? Yeah, be there in New York would be amazing because that would mean that your team did right. really well during the season. And, you know, hopefully we, we make it to the playoff. And then team goals, you know, nothing short of a national championship. Right. But, you know, obviously we got to take care of the Pac-12 South. And, you know, I think we're ready. Right now, USC is back, quote unquote. A big reason USC is back is because of you. Do you like that? Do you like the pressure? You know, I think you have to. And I definitely do. You know, I love that pressure. We're not back um, by our standards at right. all. With that being said, you know, we're Every single day we're coming to work. I just want to compete and have fun with my guys that I've been training with for, you know, three years now. So um, just ready to get after it.